Welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Today we are looking at 15 rare error pennies that sold this year in 2020. If you guys are watching this video in 2020. Don't forget if you guys want to get in on the giveaways, I gave away a bunch of silver coins the other day. All you have to do is press the bell on my channel and it will notify you guys when I am live streaming. That way you guys don't miss out on those coin giveaways. So let's just hop right into it and start off with this first penny. Now some of these errors you can look for on different coins in your pocket change. It's not just this specific 1937 wheat penny here. The coin has been broad struck. Now this coin, because of that, because of its high grade of a Mint State 66, sold for around a little over $90. So $90 range, uh, not too bad for that coin. All right, so this next coin here has been struck through a retained fragment. Now it's graded at a very fine 30, so you know, not a mint state or high grade by any means. You know, it's a really, really awesome type of mint error as well. This is just awesome, man. I absolutely love it. Here on the reverse, you know, looks normal, nothing really going on there. This coin, because of that mint error, sold for over $550. Boy, would I love to come across something like that. Now, here is a 1941S. Of course, this coin is in much better condition. It is graded at a Mint State 66 red, and it has a lamination here on the reverse of the coin, and we see that there at the bottom of the wheat penny. So, you know, that's pretty uh, obvious uh, lamination. There's all kinds of different laminations you can look for on various different types of coins out there. So keep that in mind. I've done videos on those in the past. This penny sold for around $65. So nothing too valuable, but still 65 bucks. Now, as we move on here to a 1952 wheat penny, again, this is something that, you know, is not gonna just happen on this specific dated coin. It's a 1952 wheat penny that has an obverse brockage. So a brockage taking place there on the front of the coin. We see the reverse design, the lettering of the reverse coming through there on the front uh, as a result of that mint error. Now, this penny here sold for around $150. Again, there on the reverse, you don't really see much going on there. Now here is a 1958. Of course, you can look for different clip errors. Now this is a really major clip, 45% curved clip. The coin only weighs 1.8 grams uh, because of that clipped error. Now this is a 1958 wee penny that sold for over $400. Of course, it's uh, in really good condition as well. Uh, someone really held on to that for a long time and got that graded. So, you know, you can look for little minor clips. There's all kinds of different clips that I've talked about again here on the channel. Let's move on to a 1964 Lincoln penny. Now, this is the D mint mark and it was struck on a split planchet. It only weighs 1.6 grams. So definitely always weigh your pennies. Here's the reverse of the coin. This penny here sold for around $70. So again, not too bad for that error penny either. Now here is a 1966 Lincoln penny, probably one of my favorites of the video. It does have a die adjustment strike, but uh, what's really going on here is the double strike. So it's been double struck here, which we can see the design there is rotated all the way around. You see the date 1966 twice. You see Lincoln rotated. You see the word Liberty there, the lettering twice. Uh, really, really awesome type of error. Again, double strikes happen uh, not just on, you know, 1966 pennies. They're on uh, various different types of coins. So this penny here sold for over $400 because of that mint error. Now, as we move on, this is a 1973 dime. I know we're talking about pennies, but I figured I'd throw this in there because it did sell this year in 2020. The coin was struck 50% off center and split after the strike. So really awesome uh, dime there, 1973 Roosevelt dime. This coin sold for around $140. Let's move on to a 1973 D mint mark Lincoln penny that has been struck through a late stage capped die. So we have a die cap here taking place on the reverse of the coin. Now again, you can look for this on all kinds of different coins. As I've mentioned in the past, 
I found one in a coin roll, which was, uh, you know, a really exciting time for me. Made a video about it. This coin here sold for around $60. So, you know, again, nothing too crazy, but still, it's a $60 coin. Now, here is the same thing. However, this is taking place on a 1974D mint mark, and this die cap is on the obverse of the coin. So, not the reverse. We see the reverse is fine, but here on the obverse, we see that capped die. Now, this coin here sold for around 75 bucks. 75 buckaroos. Moving on to a 1990 penny, something that you can always look for on any type of coin, as well as an off-center error, of course. There's going to be different types of off-centers. This one has been struck 40% off-center, and this penny sold for around $50. Now, here is a no-dated wheat penny. So, from 1909 to 1958, when they produced wheat back pennies, uh, this coin has been struck through a cap die. Again, we see the reverse design here is fine, but here on the front, we don't see that Lincoln design. We see the reverse design coming through here on the front because it was struck through that cap die. Now, this penny here sold for around $300. Same thing with this, however, this is going to be a Lincoln Memorial Penny, it's not the Wheat Penny. Uh, same thing, we got one side that looks fine, on the obverse side, the front of the coin, it has been struck through a cap die, and because of that, this penny sold for over $200. Now this next coin is really, really interesting, uh, wow, I don't know if we're going to call it a coin or a token, it's a token. Uh, which is uh, really, really cool. I thought this was just interesting. Uh, it did sell in 2020. Uh, it's a no-dated token. It's got a curved clip, and it's been struck off-center. This token sold for around $100. Now, here is a no-dated. It's in somewhere in the 1960s. We can't see the last digit of the date. Now, it's been double-struck, and it's off-center. It's only struck on a 1.6 gram split planchet, so we got a lot of different things going on with this mint error penny here. And because of that, this penny sold for over $140. So here's some other error pennies, if you haven't seen them, that you should always be on the lookout for. We're going to look here at the 1939 Wheat Penny. Now first what you want to look for is doubling, a double die obverse. So you want to look for doubling on the date 1939 itself, which we can see where the arrows are pointing that doubling occurring. And then also you want to look for that on the RTY of the word Liberty on the front of the coin and Lincoln's eye and ear. So always be on the lookout for that. Now 1939, here is a double die obverse. It's graded at a mint state grade, mint state 64 brown. But if it was graded at a red grade instead of a brown, it would uh, probably most likely sell for a lot more. Now this coin here only sold for around $200. So nothing super valuable, but it's something that you can always look for on your wheat pennies. And it's a $200 penny. So not a bad profit if you come across one. Now here it is. Here is an example of a red version of that double die obverse. So we see on the coin slab, RD, well, graded by PCGS, Mint State 66, so red. And this coin sold for over $575. So we definitely uh, over doubled in value just because of that grade. Now for the 1939, now this one here is graded at a Mint State 62 red brown and the coin has been struck off center. Again, I say this in a lot of my videos and it probably gets a little repetitive, but I know there's a lot of people that are new to the channel. Off centers, you can look for these on just about any type of coin out there. Uh, always be on the lookout for off centers. Some are 5% off center, some are way off center, you know. Now this penny here sold for over $125. Now for this 1939 wheat penny, this one has an obverse brockage. And again, errors like this can take place on all kinds of different coins. So always be on the lookout for that. This is very noticeable. If you came across this on any type of coin, uh, you would definitely notice it. Don't need a coin microscope for that. This coin sold for over $185. By the way, if you guys do want a coin microscope, I do have those available on couchcollectibles.com. Link is in the description of every single video. Now this coin here also has a brockage error taking place on it. And we can see that here clearly in the images displayed here. We actually see the one and cent here of the reverse 
here on the front of the coin, which is really cool. I love that. This penny sold for over $370. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I will see you all in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.